Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the Quests plugin. This is a simple plugin that allows you to create quests for players. It can work with your server economy and permissions too. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab and type in quests. It's the one with the compass icon. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart it. I've got Vault and an economy plugin installed to show you the features. However, you don't have to have them. I don't have a permissions plugin, but you can have one and set permission based quest too. Now, when you first install this plugin, it will come with some example quests. I'll be showing you how to actually create one of your own quests later. In game, you can type in slash quests help to get a list of commands or just type in slash quests to open the quest UI. The first UI you see is the categories UI, which you can interact with. This icon here represents the permissions example category. Since I'm an OP, I can view it and I can do the quest. But if I wasn't an OP, I wouldn't be able to interact with this. Only the players with that certain permissions would be able to do this. Now, of course, to start a quest, you just left click it. And if you want to cancel a quest, you just right click the quest you've already started. Let's actually complete one of the quests. As you can see under this example category, only the first quest is available. This is because the others have a requirement, which means that you can only do the next quest if another quest is completed. So let's do this one, which requires us to break blocks. It doesn't specify which blocks, so I'm going to literally destroy anything and complete this quest. Okay, now that I've broken 30 blocks, you can see that the title says we've completed the quest. Also, as you can see, the next quest is available for us to do. Of course, you don't have to do it like this if you don't want to. You can always have all the quests available straight away or require multiple quests to be completed before you can do one. It's really all up to you. Let's quickly go check out the config. Locate it in the plugins folder and here you can edit and create your own categories. It's very simple to create one, just copy and paste it and change it around just like so. This here is whether you want the category only accessible for players who have permission. If you don't include it, everyone will have access to it. Going lower are some GUI item settings and what they do. You can mess around with these if you wanted. Lower are some more options, for example if you want to have categories or just have quests in a single big GUI. If you want players to be able to do more than one quest at the same time, change this option here. If you want to hide quests or categories which players don't have permissions to, change the option here. And there are some other options which are clearly commented and explained. You can enable daily quests if you wanted. Currently this feature is in beta, so I won't be going over it in this video. These options change the titles if you want to have them enabled. And at the bottom here are the messages which you can customize. And that's about it for the config. Let's edit an existing quest and make our own one too. All the quests are found in the quests folder here. Each file here represents a single quest. The name of the file represents the quest ID and must be alphanumeric. Let's edit the example for quest. This quest here requires you to kill three mobs. This can be any mob since it's not specified. The task type here is mob killing and you can find all the task types on the wiki. As you can see, there's even a mob killing certain task which requires you to kill a specific mob. However, here it doesn't matter. So let's just change this to one. So we only need to kill one mob. This is the display name of the quest. The lore normal is the text that is shown when hovering over the quest while you haven't started the quest. And the lore started is added on when you started the quest. The type here is the item icon. The start string is the list of messages that the player will get in chat when starting a quest. Of course, the rewards are the commands which will be executed upon completing a quest and the reward string will be the message that's sent when completing a quest. The options here allow you to change the category in which the quest will be in, whether it needs another quest to be completed or not. However, we're going to be removing this option. Then, whether the quest is repeatable, and if so, is there a cooldown for it? The sort order is the order in which the quests are shown, and that's about it, so let's save and create our own quest. I'm going to copy this quest so I can quickly make my own one. Create a new file, 
Remember that the name of the file is the ID of the quest and it has to be a .yml file. Now paste what you copied from the example quest and let's make changes to it however we like. We'll make this quest a inventory task type. Make sure that you format everything correctly and now I'm going to make further changes to the quest. I'm going to change the rewards too. I'm basically going to change the game mode of the player to show you that any commands work that the console can do. I'm not going to have any reward message and I'm going to put this quest in our tutorial category which we made earlier and ensure that it requires the example 4 quest to be completed. This quest will not be repeatable and I'm going to put it in the first slot order. Okay now that's done, let's go into game and type in slash quest a reload. And here you can see that our quest has been added, but for now we can't do it since we haven't completed the example 4 quest. So let's do that quickly. And once we've completed it, you can see that we can actually do our own quest and it all works perfectly. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having any issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.